Hello my friends and welcome back to some more Minecraft. Fresh out the bed. We are going to get started on some stuff today. I did, between last episode, make a tank. Go down and get us some lava so I could fill our old smeltery up here with some fuel. Which, you know, we're not doing too bad on the iron. Some of the stuff that uh, I'm not really using right now. I've just been just leaving the ores in there, you know, iron and gold, you know, go ahead and melt them down. But uh, we do need a couple to repair our hammer. I have worked on some of the roads. I got almost this whole square right here done. I think by the, the well over there I'm missing a few blocks, but I'm out of basalt. So, you know, we'll get some more. We'll finish it up. Uh, yeah, let's just do two. But today, I keep talking about this and have never done anything with it. This is the Ars Magica little, you know, water pool here. And the only thing I know to do is to slap a book in an item frame up here and get going. After that, don't know, don't have a clue. We'll have to figure it out. But apparently I'm hungry. Do you have anything ready to go? Here we go. Oh, really? I was just trying to eat an apple, not slam the door. So, we're going to need a book. Oh, and apparently I broke my sword too. Thank you. I did do quite a bit of, you know, landscaping up there. Just getting the dirt down, then like bringing it and filling it and... I don't know. I like to make the areas look nice to, you know, to my liking. So, I do a few things. Nothing real major. I don't really tend to build a whole lot. You know, not like anything huge. Just kind of the, kind of the monotonous, you know, relaxing stuff you do on your own. I do off camera. But, as you can see, you know, I got it going most of the way here. That guy bit me earlier. He's rude. So, I got a, you know, good amount going. It's getting there. I mean, it looks good. It actually sounds like you're walking across a road, which is pretty good. The steps, I didn't see paver steps. Uh, they, they're a little bit off. It's okay. So, we need some leather. I know I got some leather in here. We got 20 leather. Apparently we got some more apples too. We're going to snap on them bad boys. We're going to need a book. Alright. There's a book. I'm pretty sure we're going to need an item frame. So let's go ahead and make us up some sticks. Hopefully, where the heck did my sticks just go? Where's my sticks? Okay, maybe they went in there. I, I don't know. Um, I believe this is an item frame. Yes, it is. Memory served me correct for once. I don't know why. Mm, I've been trying to keep all the, you know, the good stuff over here. I know I'm running out of room, but yeah, whatever. All right. So we're going to get this thing fired up. I did go ahead and put some, you know, uh, storage drawers down. I was looking for a way to pipe in and out of them. I haven't quite come up with a solution yet. I did see that Ender.io has uh, kind of like a storage inventory system. Um, but it's, you know, we're, we're not quite there yet with the resources we have. So, um, I don't know how many how high this has to be, but there's an item frame, and there's a book. Oh, looky, it's doing stuff. I'm hoping this is this book is gonna like tell me, hey, noob, this is what you need to do. 
All right, arcane com comp compendium. Yeah, I can't read. Your first spell, guides. Okay. Armor XP burnout. What is see burnout? That that's that you know little meter in the bottom of our uh, you know screen there. Burnouts when your level strain casting spells. The higher your burnout, the more mana each spell will cost. Oh, okay, so it's like if you use it too much, it costs you more resources. All right. Spell creation, rituals, silver skills, moon start, mana, magic infusion, burnout. Whoa. Whoa. What have I got myself into? What What do you do? How, what do I do with this? Bonus magic XP imbuement grants 50% bonus magic XP from spell casts. Yeah, my first spell. Oh, thank God. It was clickable. <laughs> you need to make a spell. You will first need to create an oculus and unlock at least one spell. Uh, shape and one component. You start with three blue skill points to make this possible. Then craft a writable book and head over to your inscription table. Place the book in the inscription table. There are three sections of the inscription table UI that are of note. The source rain is the large gray square at the top and will contain all of your known shapes, components, and modifiers. The shape group section is identified by brown squares. There are multiple brown squares as multiple shape groups can be created. Finally, there is the spell grammar section, which is the gray rectangle at the bottom. Holy crap! Let's start from the beginning. Your first spell, an oculus. All right, how do I make an oculus? OCC. Is that what this thing is? Oculus. Glass, stone bricks, coal, blue topaz, huh? Alright, let's just go step by step instead of reading the whole daggone book. Because I would like to figure out new stuff. I do have some stone bricks. Do I have any? I do have some stone outside. Um. What is this cooked down into? I am making some bricks. That's for a future build. Because we need them. Uh, I just need to cook one thing. I don't really want to use it. Here we go. Give me this. And this. That should cook it, right? And here. You cook that. I need some stone. Alright. Stone bricks. Yeah, just throw it on the ground. That's that's where it belongs. Ventium dust. Okay, so that didn't make what I thought it did. So where how do I get this? Blue topaz ore. I don't have any of that. But I have that. How about... It's sitting right in front of me. Oh, man. Alright, so... I need two coal and a piece of glass. Coal. You serious? I have no glass. I have no sand. How in the heck do I have no sand? Because I probably used it all making stupid uh, blocks, didn't I? You know, seared brick. You know, I made a bunch of grout. That's probably why I have no sand. Fine. Let's go get some sand. And yes, before you all start fussing at me, yes, I know equivalent exchanges in the pack. I will get to it, but myself, I'm making it more of an in-game thing. Because if I do it now, this it just won't last. You know, I could just mine up a billion cobble and make up whatever I wanted. If it still works the way it used to. I haven't messed with it. 
I'm just kind of picking mods that I don't know anything about, going with those, trying to learn what I can. And if I get stumped, well, we'll move on to something else till I figure out the answer. Oh, those are mossy stone. Yeah, we. I need more of these because I want to make a, a moss ball to put on. Well, when I make a good hammer, um, I would like to know, like a good, like super good hammer recipe. Um, something that's gonna, you know, bust up everything quick you know with like a fortune so that we you know a lapis upgrade i know redstone is you know for speed and i also want good durability out of it so you know i know i can go through and read the book and figure out all right well what's going to be the best and you know stuff like that i just normally hey this is the stuff i got let's go with it and and make it just so we can have one all right oculus we made that we done spent a whole day already. Look, you see that? Ivra bites me. He bit me before we started recording. But, you know, when I was laying down the road. Alright. So, I don't know if this stuff needs to be close to here or not. But, it seems like a good spot for it. So, we'll set that there. Okay, so it has all kinds of stuff. I just um, I just spent points. What is this? Gravity, bounce, hey, come back, range sword. Why not? Uh, let, let's let's read the book before I keep clicking stuff and making a boo boo. All right, Oculus, and unlock at least one spell shape and component. You'll start with three blue skill points to make this possible, then craft a writable book, then head over to your inscription table. So we need to make a writable book and an inscription table. So that would be what, a book and quill, right? I've actually in Minecraft never made a book and quill, and I bet you I don't have any ink sacks. I bet you I don't. Said something about an inscription table. Yes. So this is spell parchment, a feather, a candle. How do I make this? Okay, well that's not hard. We can make this easily. Let's go ahead and grab some wood. I think it needed a torch as well. We got that. We needed a feather. Yeah, I know it does that, but just out of my, you know, the way I do things, that worked for me. Alright, I need a stick and this. Um, I just need one. I didn't even realize I had torches down there. Alright, this, this, I needed some slabs. Alright, what else do I need? I need this. Alright, so we need to make paper. And that was... I'm guessing we're probably going to need more of these as we go along. It seems like we would. But I'm just kind of following along with um, the instructions for now. I've always preached that, you know... I like mods with books. Why do I like mods with books? So I can figure them out. I mean, it'd be nicer if I knew a little bit more about what was going on. But, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. All right, first spell. Uh, writable book. That's what we need next. Um, whoa. Whoa. What does it mean by writable book? Because that's not even a thing. I mean... That's a book in Quill. Oh, oh, floral black powder. Hello, black flowers. I need you. Or squid. 
Oh man, I can't believe I'm running out looking for flowers of all things. Flowers and squid. What is that? Oh yeah, man, this thing busted up that tree. Oh well. Alright, flowers. Black flower. Squid. Piggy. All these daggone flowers around here. I just need a black one. Um, darn it, man. Is there bubbles just coming out of there? There's a little pond fart. We just saw it. Alright. Well, let's just take a quick gander around. Maybe we'll find something. Oh, look, there's a squid. I'm going to have to ask him a question. Because I still haven't made another sword. That'll work. Yeah, I got you too. Look, I will kill you. Uh, uh, uh. Holy moly! Hey, how, I'm doing great. Nice to nice to uh, you know run away from you. I'll talk to you later when I have time. Right now, I'm kind of doing a thing. Does that actually have something coming down from it? Huh. What's up, bud? William's the shepherd. Well, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm doing great. Uh, what is special? <gasps> nope. Trade? Uh, nah, man, I ain't got no emeralds. I might, I might talk to you later, though. Alright, so I'm not going to keep running back and forth. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep uh, the stuff I need going on over here. You know, we're going to end up probably moving this stuff later and just setting up a whole room for it. But for now, we're kind of just going with this. And I still got to go back. As soon as I say, hopefully I have everything, I don't. It's, you know, it's the way it's, it is for me. Can I cook this? Probably. Here, have some wood. Yeah, that'll cook. Because these apples don't seem to last too long. But we are running around a lot, doing a bunch of stuff. Alright. So we need this. And I need a book. Fine. Make me a book, please. Book. And it was this uh, ink sack, and I bet you it was a daggone feather. I ain't got no feathers either. Well, at least we're, we didn't set up not too far away. Why did I have a piece of dirt? I'm, I, you know, I remember this mod, but other than remembering the little pool and the book and stuff, I don't remember anything else about it. Alright. Unfinished spell recipe. Okay. So that is what we need. Place a book in the inscription table. There are three sections of the inscription table UI that are of note. The source region is the large gray scale at the top and will contain all of your known shapes, components, and modifiers. The shape is identified as brown squares. Man, these daggone bees. I already took down a couple of the daggone beehives around here because I'm tired of hearing their buzzing. Um, I spell grammar section, which is the gray rectangle at the bottom. Create shape groups by dragging shapes or modifiers. Yeah, I, you know what? I don't really understand what the heck it's saying. So, can I just do this? Or do I do this? Oh! 
Well, I had some more more of these point things, so can I use this? Mm, as much as I like fire, I, that seemed that, that's something I've done before. So let's just do magic damage. Y'all know me. I'm not much of a magic man. Um. No. What can I search? Okay. What am I missing? I can't put that in there? But I can do that. Oh, it's telling me stuff on the side. I can't see it because uh, JEI is in the way. At least one component is needed. Uh, like what kind of component? You want a stick? You want a feather? An arrow? Hmm. Yeah, I'm stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in the comments. You know, hey, help a brother out. What is what? What am I looking for here? It's not letting me put any of these other things here, and it says at least at one component. What? What? What component? Uh, large gray square top and contain all your known shapes and components and modifiers. All right. Well, there's nothing else here. What is this? Regeneration self, it's all about me. I mean, I'm just guessing these are all component, uh, not components, but I don't know. I honestly just don't know. What does it mean by shapes? Because it's it wants something right here. I don't know what it wants right here. And I can't put any of these in there. So, hmm. I don't know, guys. We started it. We got a couple of the things built. Now, there'll probably be maybe another one or two episodes after this. Depends on how much time I get to record before this goes up. So, you know, I have no fear. I'll just kind of leave it to the side unless I figure something out. I'm going to wait to hear from y'all and uh, move forward with this. I mean, there's a ton of other stuff that we can do in the meantime. So we'll just pick up with something else and see if we can figure it out. But as of now, there's scary stuff out. And we've used our time for today. So I want to thank you all for coming out and hanging out with me. And until next time, guys, take it easy.